Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about the 5 life and time saving tips about Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have super insights and tricks about Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it without skipping. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Up down arrow keys. Here we have this four stock videos. Now while editing lot of video clips most of you will become frustrated to go through one clip after another. It becomes time consuming to see through one after another than you could imagine. That is where our arrow keys comes in. If I click the down arrow key you can see the time indicator just skip to start of the next video clip. And if I press the upper arrow key it will move backwards. While editing lots of video in a sequence this arrow keys will be your life saver. Now if I have more clips on different video tracks and try to use the arrow key, you can see it's just ignoring the cuts and videos of the other tracks and just focused on the first track. It's because of this video track target option. Currently our target track is the video 1 track which is V1. If I select the other tracks like this and try using the arrow keys. There, now it stops on all our track videos. This will play an important role when you suddenly want to check some certain tracks video. You can simply untarget the other tracks and just focus on the track you want and by using the arrow keys you will be able to see faster. This technique is also used for audio, just select the audio target track and skip through the audio clips. Add edit and ripple edit. Now what if you want to cut some videos in between and add the rest of the clips to fill its space. You will take razor tool here and cut it separately and delete it then drag the clips to fill it. This kind of workflow won't help you to edit video faster. What you have to do is just go to the sequence and you can see the add edit option which shortcut is control K. Now if you use the shortcut you can simply cut the video where your time indicator is which makes the work much simpler, but by using this long shortcuts it will become frustrating on the long run. To ease that stress we will just simply change the hotkey for that add edit shortcut. Just simply go to edit and select the keyboard shortcuts option. You can see all the default keyboard shortcut keys for your editing. In this search, type in add edit and here we have our add edit shortcut which is control K. Just simply click the X mark to delete it and press enter to add new shortcut key. I will use the Z for the add edit shortcut. As you can see that the Z already used as zoom tool. No need to worry just click here and change the shortcut for the zoom option. Press enter and type in different shortcuts for this. I will change this to control K as the previous add edit command. After finished changing shortcut key, click OK. Now if I use the Z on my keyboard it just simply cuts the video. Let's move on to the deleting and filling the gaps in the video tracks. We still have to delete it and had to drag all the clips to fill the gaps, but that will also change. After cutting the clips and if you press shift delete, it will automatically removes the selected clip and also closing the gap with rest of the clips. But using two keys for ripple delete will consume more time when it comes to editing big projects. That's why we will also change the shortcut key for ripple delete. Again go to keyboard shortcuts and type in ripple delete then change the shortcuts. I will assign the X key to ripple delete and as you can see mark clip is assigned to it already. We will change the shortcut for our mark 
clip option. After you done just click OK. Now if you try using the Z and X key to cut and delete the video, then you will edit much much faster than you were before. And believe me you will thank yourself that you learned this. Adjustment Layer most of the beginners will use the original clips as base and add effects and color correction to it. And when you want to add that exact same effects and color to other video clips you will go to edit and select all of it, then copy and paste it on the video clips you want. But what happens when you face with much larger video tracks and clips? It will become a nightmare. To change that nightmare into a good dream is where adjustment layer comes in. Go here and click on this icon then select adjustment layer. Click OK. Now drag it onto the above track where you want your effects and color correction to apply. You just simply add all the curves and effects to it and it will apply onto our main video where our adjustment is present. If you want the effects on other clips you can just simply extend it and just like that we added all the effects to these different clips by simply dragging it. You can delete it if you want it will not affect your source videos. You can change the color of the adjustment layer to assign its purpose in the sequence. Right click and go to label and select the color you want. This will help you big time when it comes to editing. Transition When you have lot of cuts and you want to apply transition to every single cuts, you just can't simply drag transition to one after another. This will consume lot of time and energy then you could imagine. To avoid that, hold control on your keyboard. Highlight the clips where you want to add your transition. Press Ctrl D to add default transition which is cross dissolve to all the cuts just like that. It saves tons and tons of time. If you want to change the default transition just go to the transition in the effects panel. You can see this blue outline around the cross dissolve which indicates the default transition. To change it just simply select the transition you want as default and right click the then select, that's it. Now we have changed the default transitions. If you want to add transition to audio as well, again control select all the cuts and press shift D to apply both audio and video transition. To change the default audio transition just use the same method. What if you cut too many unnecessary clips and it gets in your editing work? If you will try to nest the sequence to avoid the cuts but it's not the best solution to it. I will show you how to get rid of the unused cuts. Control select the cuts you want. and by simply pressing delete button on your keyboard you can remove all the cuts, just like a fresh clips with no cuts to it. Attributes Attributes is one of the main obstacle when you want to copy paste some effects and properties to other clips. Let's add some color curves to it and twist the video's properties. Even if we try to copy paste the effects and properties to different clips you can see that the properties of the video is not applying like the effects. This is where the attributes copy paste comes to play. To copy the properties and its effects of a video or adjustment layer you just simply press Ctrl C to copy. Go to the video or layer where you want to apply this attributes press Ctrl Alt V. As you can see that the attributes panel shows the effects and changes applied to this clip as shown. You can just remove or add any properties and effects that you want before pasting it. Click OK. Now you can see that the scale rotation properties also apply to it without any changes. This will be your lifeline when you want to change some edits at the end of your editing. If you want to remove the attributes, 
you can just simply go to edit and select remove attributes and choose what you want to remove and click ok we finally learned the five tips that will save your time more than you think i hope you learned something from me if you want to support you can simply go to the gentle psd patreon page and do it link is in the description we finally at the end of our tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section i will be more than happy to help please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.